So if you look at this definition here, that's how we can calculate moment, MA and MB, by using coefficients C1, 1, C1, 2, and C2, 1, C2, 2. If you look at this definition, you can easily write this way. You will know that MA is just C11 times theta A plus C12 times theta B, and MB is just C21 times theta A plus C22 times theta B. Very straightforward. Right? Now with the definition of this S11, SIA, and SIJ, you can also write it this way that by taking the coefficient EI out, this become S11 times theta A plus S12 times theta B. And for MB, it becomes EI over L times S21 times theta A plus S22 times theta B, like this. And here, the coefficients SII and SIJ. They are what we call stability functions. Why they are called stability functions? Because SIJ or SII or SIJ, and of course, let's be complete, SII and SIJ are KL dependent, right? If they are KL dependent, they are P dependent. That's why they are stable. They are called stability functions. In that sense, of course, C, I, I, and C, I, J are also P dependent. Okay. Now we have arrived the expression, the first two expression for a slope deflection equations, which is these two. In the slope deflection method, we will use the coefficients that you can either calculate it from a computer or you can look it up from a table. You use the value of S11, S12, S21, and S22 to either determine the moments, MA and MB, or use it to determine the angles, theta A and theta B. If you know the M moments, this will be step if n moments are known, use the expression, use the slope deflection equations to determine theta A and theta B. Vice versa. If you know the angle, now how do we know the angle? If you know the boundary condition, then you use it to do it. So, so what are the examples? Like this. Suppose you have a fixed ended. And versus you have a simply supported. They're both subjected to buckling force, P. Like this. Now in the first case, what should we use? Is that we know the moment or we know the deflection? In the case on the, on the left, what do we know? 
In the case on the left, the order is because we know deflection is zero. So you use theta A equals theta B is zero and to find M A and B. In the case on the on the right, we're gonna use because M A is zero and B is zero. We use it to find theta A and theta B. Is that clear?